Park's Summer Safari Asian Celebration proudly presents the Taiko Project. Thank you very much. We are the Tycho Project, 
And we come all for t we come here from all the way from Los Angeles. <laughs> we play an instrument called taiko. Uh, taiko is a Japanese instrument, and taiko means big drum in Japanese. Uh, the style that you see us playing today is not how we use taiko a long time ago in, in ancient times. Uh, in the beginning, farmers thought that the taiko sounded like thunder, so they would play taiko to call to the gods for rain for a bountiful harvest. They would also use taiko in various festivals, in the temples, in the shrines, uh, as well as the classical theater such as kabuki and no. Uh, it wasn't until about 60 years ago when taiko started to uh, be used on stage um, sort of as an entertainment form. Uh, this was started by two groups in particular, um, and they started a, a movement called kumi daiko. Can you say kumi daiko? Kumi daiko in Japanese means group drumming, and uh, the first group that we talked about, we're going to talk about, is called Osua Taiko. This was start, started by a man named Daihachi Oguchi, who was classically trained as a jazz drummer. And he wanted to play taiko a little bit more than just once a year at his uh, temple's uh, festival. So he gathered a bunch of his friends, found some old ancient sheet music, and started the very first kumi daiko group called Osua Taiko. The other group was a group that started in Tokyo, the capital of Japan. And this group is called Skeroku Taiko, and they're noted for their very big, uh, flashy type dance-like movements. Um, and they're the group that sort of invented this slant drum here. And uh, we're going to perform uh, a version of one of their pieces called Ni Dan Uchi. Ni in Japanese means two, Dan means sides, and Uchi means to hit. So as you can see, there's one drum here on the slant, and another big, big drum up here on the horizontal stand. And we'll be playing both of these drums at the same time with solos. This is our version of Nidan Uchi called Many Sides.
Tycho Project, and we're here from Los Angeles, and the instrument we play is Tycho. So I would like to tell you a little bit about the drums that we brought with us today. We have all kinds of different shapes and sizes, and different sized drumsticks, or bachi, that we use to play on the different sized drums. The first one, as you can see, the first one is called the shime. Can you guys say shime? Yes, yeah, so in Japanese, shimeru means to close or tighten, and that's where the word comes from. And as you can see here, we close this small drum with rope. Okay, so there are two sides, a top and a bottom. Close it with rope. Deep breath. And the rope actually changes the pitch. So we keep these pretty high, and we use them for our bass beat, or our G, or our tempo keeping. Maz will demonstrate. history here in America as well. In 1967, a man named Seiji Tanaka went to the San Francisco Cherry Blossom Festival and he noticed that there was no taiko there. So he went to Japan and he studied taiko and brought some drums back and he started the very first taiko group in America called the San Francisco Taiko Dojo. Around the same time in LA, a group called Kinata Taiko was being formed and they are the very first Japanese American Buddhist taiko group in America. And from these two groups, uh, Taiko started being spread across the United States and now there's over 200 groups nationwide. So next we are going to play a song called Here We Go Now and this song draws on influences that we grew up with such as jazz, hip-hop, dance, and drumline. So without further ado, here is Here We Go Now. Thank you. <laughs> 